hey youtubers something important something kind of damn important so i have another video right now a nice big ass video like a big ass cigar being silly ass like a big ass cigar so yes in our bad words video right now a nice big ass bad words video like a big ass cigar being silly ass like a big ass cigar so this bad word we're focusing on right now or actually three words in general is either rat snitch or narc. So what does this word basically mean? Now a rat, a snitch, or a narc is basically somebody who tells on people for no valid reason. So for example, obviously the house is burning down, there's a robber in the house, obviously that's a valid reason to snitch on somebody because obviously that's a valid reason. But for example, say somebody just stole one cookie out of the cookie jar, yeah, kind of like a song, a children's song, being silly ass like a big ass cigar, that's really kind of like borderline. It's like, you know, yeah, do you really have to tell on your brother and say, mommy, 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 my brother stole one cookie from the cookie jar. It's like, you know, honestly, you're being kind of a rat, kind of a snitch, kind of a narc. It's like, you know, narc comes from the word narcotics, you know, referring to drugs, you know, recreational drugs like cocaine and heroin and pills. So and rat refers to the animal, the freaking rat, you know, a rat, like in a sewer. So, and then snitch basically means, you know, snitches get stitches, which basically means if you tell on people, you're going to get beat up, probably you're going to get beat up really bad. You know, somebody will kick your ass like a big ass cigar. So, is it a bad word? Now, around your elderly 97 year old granny probably damn offensive probably damn offensive because most things will offend your 97 year old granny around your friends saying snitch or rat or for example like narc it's probably not a bad word it's not even really in the category of name calling like stupid dumb idiot or shut up for example it's not even really a bad word in general now, obviously, accusing somebody of being a snitch is very, very, very different in prison. If you're in prison, you know, fucking prison, or jail, even county jail, it's a very different story because snitches and rats in prison, freaking prison, like federal prison, it's a totally different thing. Accusing somebody of being a snitch, and that's what Whitey Bulger was, the uh, mobster, the Boston mobster, he was a snitch in prison and also you have other uh people who are snitches in prison totally different story you're accusing somebody of being a snitch in prison you're basically wishing a death sentence upon them because snitches in prison are in the same category as people who abuse children people who abuse animals it is a terrible thing to accuse somebody of in prison if you accuse somebody of being a snitch in prison you have a death wish waiting for you if you're telling lies it's like you know because totally different story in prison in the free world obviously in the free world like out here like obviously this is not prison my room is not prison you know or not jail it's like you know it's like it's not nice i guess it's kind of in the category of like name calling like stupid dumb idiot or shut up you know saying oh you're a snitch you're a rat you know you're a freaking rat you know or you're a narc you know after the word narcotics you know referring to drugs you know saying oh you're a narc you told on me because i was drinking one sip of beer one sip of my mom's beer it's like you know what it's kind of like, you know, there are valid times when snitching is appropriate. Like, there are times, like, if you go to, like, a doctor or a therapist and you tell them that you committed a crime, they're legally required to report that because they're considered a mandated reporter, and that's not considered snitching. But it's like, you know, somebody says, oh, I just took, you know, one speck of a cookie out of the cookie jar, and you're snitching on them. Really? Do you really have to do that on YouTube, for example? You know, big-ass YouTube, like the big-ass cigar, for example example somebody might you know falsely flag a video just because somebody has like a cigarette in their mouth it's like it's really that big of a deal honestly so you get the freaking point so there's a time and place for it but in prison fucking prison it's a totally different story there's a big big difference there's no comparison no freaking comparison between calling somebody a snitch or a rat in prison or jail versus calling somebody a snitch or a rat in the free world and you know the free life so totally different world so anyway have a nice day bye, -bye.